In this video, we're going to learn how to apply a decorative plaster coating to an aerated concrete wall. There are many benefits to having a wall made out of aerated concrete. It is light, easy to build on, it has very good insulating properties and is non-inflammable. Applying a decorative plaster coating will allow you to take full advantage of the wall's properties whilst giving the wall an attractive appearance. Warning, this job takes a long time, allow two or three days for each layer to dry. To apply this decorative plaster, you will need a bucket, a spatula, two coating knives, a flat paintbrush, a short head roller, a broom, a cloth, decorative plaster and decorative varnish. There are three stages required for applying the decorative plaster coating which we will describe to you in detail. Before plastering the wall, apply a primer or spackle. To do this, refer to the video, applying a gap filler. Once this first coating is dry, scratch off any rough bits and carefully sweep up the residue. The wall is ready for you to apply the first layer of decorative plaster. Apply the coat in arced semicircles, starting from the top of your wall. This movement will create nuances which will give the wall a daubed effect. Carefully spread and remove any excess. If there is too much plaster, small lumps will appear. If this happens, you will need to scrape off the excess. At this stage, the plaster coating does not need to be completely smooth. The strokes formed between the different strips will give the wall a daubed effect. The second layer, however, will need to be smooth. The appearance of stripes indicates that small stones or dry clumps of plaster are present. If this happens, remove them by hand and smooth the plaster coating over again. Once the first layer is dry, apply the second. The second layer should be applied from the top to the bottom in semicircles, exactly as you did the first time. At this stage, however, the plaster needs to be perfectly smooth and have no stroke mark between the strips. Once the second layer of plaster coating has been applied, Buff the surface with a cloth. The varnish needs to be spread with a short head roller, which is ideal for smooth surfaces. Spread it from bottom to top in vertical strips until your entire wall is varnished. If some areas are still dry, it means that there is not enough varnish there. Apply another layer with the roller if this is the case. If the varnish runs, it means there's too much. In this instance, spread it over a larger surface. Finish the edges with a brush. Leave it to dry for the time indicated by the manufacturer. You now know how to apply decorative plaster.